Uh, hello guys, welcome to this video. So in this video, I will talk about a PDF editor and uh, renderer viewer that I developed inside uh, ReactJS using PDF lib library. So this is actually the interface of the application that you're seeing right here. I also deployed this uh, application on my free media tools website. And you basically, if you want to see the live demo, I have given the link in the description of the video. You can check out the live demo. Here you can actually select any PDF document. And uh, let's suppose you download any PDF document from the internet, sample PDF document. Let's suppose we take this one. Any document that you take, let's suppose uh, we take this document there is only a single page out there if I basically download this and now if I choose this document that I docu uh, that I downloaded you will see the page will load right here and various controls are there you can basically zoom in zoom out all the controls are basically there zoom in zoom out and uh, this is the only page in the uh, PDF document so you will see the page one is there and uh, you can uh, add text images you can highlight text using different colors out there basically the stroke width right here you can highlight this text right here as you can see right here with my pencil tool you can change this color using color picker you can change this color to red color now so now it changed to red color you can basically highlight this text right here just underline that in this way you can basically highlight the text right here and uh, if you are want to add some text as well there is an option right here to actually add a text so I can basically add increase the font size of this text so I will say that uh, my channel name so as I'm writing right here you will see it will automatically update and if you increase the font size it will also increase right here as you can see you can even change the font size as well sorry font different kinds of fonts are supported so in this way you can also add watermark as well so right here at the center of the page I can basically add my watermark so after you are done you can basically save the changes simply click the save button so it will save the changes that you are done inside the PDF document and now if you want to basically download the PDF document you can click the download button and now if you open the PDF document you will basically see all the changes that you have done you can see the text that you have written which is coding section it is highlighted and the watermark has been successfully added so in this way you can do this and uh, now if you also want to add images you can basically choose any image file that you want to add in the PDF document so as I select the image you will see the image will get added and then you can control basically the height of the image the width of the image you can provide the fixed value here 250 for the width 250 for the height so in the real time basically you will see the image will be resized and you can just with the help of the mouse you can place the image accordingly where you want to place this image with the help of the mouse you can control the sizing here accordingly so you just need to click save here after you make the changes and then click download once again you will see the image will also get added so this is a fully fleshed uh, PDF editor in the browser and also it uh, shows you the pages on the PDF document so it's also as a view PDF renderer PDF viewer or PDF editor something like Adobe Acrobat so you don't need any external software, you, it runs in the browser, no server side code is involved. It is entirely coded in uh, ReactJS. So this is actually the code that is I am using. I have given the code if you need to purchase the full source code, I have given the link in the description of the video. After you make the payment, you will actually get a zip file from Google Drive and uh, after you extract all the content, you will actually get this directory structure and if you see in the dependency section we have actually used this library called as pdf lib library which is actually 
the library which is required for building this project. So PDF lib, if you don't know, is a actual open source library for PDF processing. If you want to create PDF documents, you can actually use this library. And for displaying PDF document, we are using PDF JS Dist. It's a Mozilla based uh, PDF JS library which allows you to display PDF documents in the browser. So both these are uh, Node.js modules and also it can be used in the browser itself. So we are actually using this packages in the browser to build this application in React.js and uh, after you you will actually get this directory structure after you extract the code from the zip file after the payment so that both the links are given uh, the live demo is given you can first of all check out the live demo before purchasing the source code i have i have de deployed this website on my free media tools website tool you can choose a you can see that all the pages will be there so let's suppose I take a file which contains lots of pages. So so let me take a PDF file which contains a lot of pages just to show you the demo of if it you will see now it contains 196 pages. So I will simply save this right here and uh, now I can simply load this file which I downloaded which is so as you can see basically this is actual first page we can navigate to the second page third page so you can see that we can navigate to any page accordingly by these controls out there and you can go to any specific page and then you can basically zoom in zoom out anything that you can do right here and then you can basically uh, highlight any section So just need to click save and then you need to go to the next page. You will see if you go to the this page, just need to highlight any section that you want. You can add images, you can add text accordingly. There is a text area will be there. So you can increase the font size. You can control the font color as well by using this color picker. So now this color will become red color. So just click save and download and your save changes will be there. So this is the actual PDF editor guys and uh, which is there. You can check out the live demo. I have given the link and also there is you can draw as well. Basically you can control the stroke width. So you can highlight any section that you want to do inside PDF document. So if you go to that specific page, so this is actually the application guys, you can basically test out the application with your own PDF document. You can see there is only a single page. We can actually highlight any section. Save the changes. Click download. You can see the changes have been taken place. You can add your logo as well. You can add your image as well, any image that you want to add. Then you can basically increase the width.
so it's a full application guys and uh, the link is given in the description of the video to purchase this so if you want to deploy this inside your own hosting plan what you need to do after you get this source code you can simply run a command right here which is npm run build so this will actually build out this application and it will actually create a dist directory which will actually contain the minified code which you can actually host inside your you can see it has actually created this code index.html basically this is the actual code and this contains the CSS and the JavaScript code so you can build out your application and then just host this inside a, your hosting plan just upload these files inside to actually host this application so the link is given guys if you need to try you can go and please hit that like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video